I think it's critical to uh, address rebound effects because um, now that we have momentum uh, towards a sustainability transition, and I hope we have momentum enough to do it on time, uh, we can uh, still fail even with the best intentions uh, because uh, we might aim for a sort of impact, uh, we might lose part of it through rebound effects or it, it can even backfire. So if we cannot uh, uh, foresee those rebound effects and address them, uh, that will be quite problematic. It's kind of a big obstacle to uh, reaching sustainability targets in, in, in general. I'm, I'm working myself as a PhD student in uh, the concept of absolute sustainability, uh, which is the idea of moving from what what can be a relative sustainability, so having um, this idea of comparing objects and systems together and see how one can be better than another, uh, to something that is more, okay, but if one is better than the other, is it actually good enough? Is, is it actually something that is sustainable enough from an absolute perspective? And that's a big, uh, rebound effects are a big obstacle because sometimes we, we, we have, um, a lot of uh, innovations and solutions, technological innovations, for example, that enables products to actually decrease their impact so much. Uh, but then we have those rebound effects that completely wipes out uh, all the, the positive effects that were implemented in the first place. That takes us so much farther from this absolute target that we that we put in the first place. And uh, the, there is a big challenge here in trying to understand them, where they apply the most, and how can we, uh, how we can prevent them from, from happening, uh, so we can, yeah, become closer to the targets and, and, and bridge the gap. Yeah, it's important to address rebound effects because if we think we're doing the right thing and we're actually making life worse, then it's a really bad idea, right? <laughs> And even worse could be that we think we're doing such a great job that we, we keep doing more of it and if we don't address the rebound effect mindset, or, or not mindset, but if we, if we don't think there may be rebound effects, if we don't try and second guess what we may as human beings or connections of human beings or societies, in other words, how we behave, then we might actually end up doing more bad than, than good. Um, at absolute worst, uh, or even less good than we intend to, and I think uh, it, it's a shame to to waste the effort and all the good intentions if we just don't think about the mechanisms that might be relatively easy to put in place to alleviate any of those rebound effects. It's important to address rebound effects because uh, we already have evidence that Rebound behavior not only offsets uh, sustainability efforts, but it can actually also backfire. And this is obviously extremely important uh, when we have so many sustainability crises uh, that we're trying to fix. So it's also um, important to understand rebound effects because maybe we figure out that the, that the rebound um, backfires so much that maybe we need to prioritize other sustainability solutions. Um, maybe this, this one solution isn't working for us in the system that we live in.